What's up everybody, Clay here back with another Red Tech. This is part one in a two-part series about selecting your Red Arsenal. So in part one, we're gonna talk about cameras. Pretty specific, right? Well, actually, that's kind of the point because a camera is just a tool and different tasks call for different tools. There's no perfect digital cinema camera, just like there was no perfect film body or film stock. It's all about the right tool for the right job. And today we're gonna to talk about just how vast your tool belt is when you're working in the RED ecosystem. It's actually pretty easy to break down your camera choice into a few essential decisions. First, you're gonna to wanna to look at what type of body you want or your form factor. And in part two, we're gonna look at imaging sensors and also how it all fits together in one production and caters to creators on every level. Let's start things off. Your body style can often define the ways you can use your camera and that form factor is gonna to lead to a couple key decisions like your available IO and the power delivery options. So each time you make a decision about a camera, you're gonna to have to balance that form factor and the functionality that you need to complete your vision. RED has always pushed the bleeding edge of small form factors, and I think it's pretty awesome that even our largest camera, the RED Ranger, is smaller than comparable cinema camera systems. Okay, let's look at these guys side by side. Komodo is the baby at 2.1 pounds and four inches cubed. It offers two built-in BP900 series battery plates and integrated two pin seven to 17 volt DC power. It has an RF mount, 4K 12G SDI, built-in uncompressed 24-bit 48 kilohertz stereo internal mics, as well as 3.5 millimeter jacks for mic and headphone. Plus you have an EXT port for additional communication. Komodo is a powerhouse for its size. It's an insane crash cam and excels in the air, cutting down total payload weight and increasing flight times. Unlike DSMC2 and Red Ranger, Komodo has a sensor that's specific to the Komodo body. It's an industry-leading global shutter sensor at 16 plus stops of dynamic range. This one over here, DSMC2. That's the modular kingpin of the crew. A DSMC2 brain weighs in at 3.35 pounds and it doesn't have built-in traditional I.O. And that may sound pretty weird, but it's actually a huge benefit. Through the epic power of modularity, you can make this little body act like a DSLR, fit perfectly in a gimbal, or even imitate its big brother, the Ranger. It's like a multi-tool, transforming into whatever you need it to be. This body is my personal favorite, if I'm being honest. I'm constantly changing shooting styles based on the needs of a shoot. I'm doing an interview style setup right now with the production module. Tomorrow, it's gonna be an SDI jetpack on my gimbal. The modularity of DSMC2 allows me to change my camera's IO instead of changing the shots that I'm trying to capture. It's totally adaptable, but in some circumstances, that can be pretty complicated. That brings us around to the big guy, Red Ranger. This body weighs in at around seven and a half pounds, and this absolute unit of a camera was designed around a film production mindset. The original idea was to have a body that you could rent anywhere in the world and know exactly what you were getting. Uniform IO, 24 volt compatible, built-in standard mounting points, and an ergonomic shape that you can throw up on your shoulder. Speaking of IO, you can choose a V-lock or gold mount, you have red standard control port, a couple two pin auxiliary power, and two 24 volt three pin run stop capable connectors. DC power input, five pin time code, gen lock, USB power, five pin XLR audio, headphone jack, two mirrored SDI, and one additional independently controlled SDI labeled MON1. This thing is stacked. It's incorporated more industry standard mounting points into a much quieter, cooler, higher voltage unibody design with the camera team in mind. All right, let's break this down into some actionable decisions. If you need an incredibly small camera that's perfect for lightweight applications, Komodo's gonna be the camera for you. If you need beefier boards, higher frame rates, and maybe you're an owner operator whose shooting conditions are constantly changing, the modularity of DSMC2 is really gonna get you going. And if you're an onset junkie, you're the next big studio DP. You're used to working with a full camera team. You got an AC, a camera operator, a gaffer. Th then the Red Ranger is your onset juggernaut. This is gonna have all the standard things that you expect to see. Okay. That was a lot, but we covered every body style that RED currently offers. And in part two, we're gonna cover imaging sensors, what goes in that body. So please come back and join us. 
Don't forget to like, post, and subscribe, and keep creating.